Hello everyone, my name's Libby and I'm going to show you how to create a dramatic watercolour city skyline backdrop for your comic superhero. For this craft you will need glue, scissors, ruler, watercolour paints, a small paintbrush, if you have it a sheet of plain A4 watercolour paper or use paper that isn't too thin, a pencil, a black pen, small pot for water, a sheet of newspaper with mainly text, not too many photos. So let's get making. We're going to create our buildings for the city skyline. Cut your newspaper sheet to the same size as your paper. Lay your newspaper on top of your plain paper and work out how high you want your newspaper buildings to be. Cut your newspaper to the size you want and keep the cut part of the newspaper. We'll use that soon. With the main piece of newspaper, use a pencil and a ruler to draw out a variety of rooftops for your buildings. I'm using lots of different heights and a variety of shapes to make the roofs of the buildings. With a leftover newspaper strip, place this newspaper over the top of your background newspaper. Draw your rooftops adding new heights and shapes and make sure they're shorter than the background newspaper buildings so that we can see them. Cut along both of your newspaper sheets along your drawn lines and stick the background newspaper buildings with glue to the bottom of your plain paper and make sure that it's stuck smoothly. We need to mix our watercolour paints in a palette. You could do this in the lid of your paints or on a clean plate. You'll need a water pot to mix the colours. To create the colours of a sunset, I'm going to start with warm tones. Mix a little bit of yellow and a small amount of orange paint in your palette and make sure you dip your paintbrush in the water first. We'll start with the light tones first and then gradually add darker tones. Once you're happy with your colour, dip your paintbrush in the water and then back into your yellow paint. We're going to be painting with a dabbing motion as we want to create a natural looking light. Dab the colour onto the top of your newspaper buildings and where it meets the paper behind. Adding it to the top of the newspaper background will create the effect of the setting sun's light reflecting off the buildings. Dip your paintbrush in your water pot and back into the orange watercolour tone in your palette. Dab this a little higher up on your newspaper roof line and where it meets the sky behind. It's important not to paint in a solid paint stroke. We want the paint to look mottled to achieve a cloudy textured sky. Dip your paintbrush in the water pot. This time we're going for a sky blue watercolour. Mix your blues in the palette until you're happy with the colour. Dab the blue watercolour tone just on top of the warm colours and a little higher on your plain background. Leave lots of white gaps to create clouds. Add more blue to your palette. You might want to mix in some dark blue or a little black paint. Brush this into the bottom of your newspaper. Gradually paint the blue up the newspaper buildings, adding a little less paint and a little more water until your blues meet the painted warm tones on the newspaper. You will create a shadow effect on your newspaper buildings. Do the same to your foreground newspaper buildings. You could also add a few small yellow strokes of paint to your foreground. These will become windows later. Stick your dried newspaper foreground on top of the background newspaper buildings. With your black pen, go around your small yellow windows to create a clearer window shape. You might want to use a ruler. Now stand back and admire your watercolour city skyline. I hope you have lots of fun coming up with your skyline backdrop for some amazing superhero adventures. Thank you. Goodbye.